All right, so a fan has asked me to look at his pay statements and give him a conclusion on whether or not I think he's getting robbed. Our meeting is actually called, am I being robbed as a lease operator? Ronan, please help. You know, I mentioned in my last video that I'm willing to go over people's state pay statements. There are a lot of horrible lease agreements out there. Why don't you guys have a look at what I believe might be a horrible lease agreement that this driver is in. So let's have a call with him and see uh, why don't you guys hear what I have to say and how I analyze his pays. Eduardo. How are you, Ronan? I am great. How are you? I'm frustrated, but I'm now I'm better because I'm speaking to a famous Ronan. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you know what? Before we continue, I want to thank you specifically. You know, a lot of us drivers look through our YouTube for guidance and all of that. The minute I found you, I... I can see that you are trying to help people in the industry, and that is so rare and not non-existent. I appreciate so, it. I really do. I thank you for everything that you've done. Listen, for me, you've done a lot. Just How long have you been watching the channel? I've been watching the channel now probably for a year. The only thing that I don't like is the fact that you're not willing to bash some of these companies, and they need bashing. I wish I could do your job. Because a lot of these companies need bashing because not so much bashing but for them to be put out there that way drivers can know to stay the hell away from them yeah the reason that I don't bash people on the channel um, is because I'm not in it to bash other people I'm just in it to open people's eyes and to educate people and to make them more aware of what's happening out there there's crooks all over the place in our industry I just don't feel like it's my place to start bashing. Uh, people can bash as much as they want in the comments, in the notes. I mean, there, there's a lot of people stay away from this company, stay away from that company. But th that's not really the approach that I want to take. I'm more of, uh, you know, I'll make people aware of things that are happening out there, uh, create awareness, unite drivers, because I think that's the one thing that this channel has and done. That's the one thing that we no longer have in this industry, yes. drivers being united. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would like to open up your statements. I have not opened it up, so I'm going to be analyzing it together with you. Um, yes. Which one is the most, which one would you like me to open? Because I have six of them here. They were so mixed up, the way that I got them and the way that they were organized. That I sent you, if not all of them, as many as I could. The first two were the biggest statements. After that, they started going down. I think the owner operator compensation package it's funny how they say owner operator i'm not an owner operator i don't own that shit that's it I'm, I'm, i i can work my tail off for the next 10 years and i won't own that truck be, but i'll be making them lots and lots of money so in this owner operator compensation package it says how much money i make the thing is that as an owner operator or as a subcontractor, at least in, I should be able to know what they're making off of each load. So I shared a screen with you, okay? And mm -hmm. this is, I guess, one pay statement, right? Mm. Um, and I'd like to get some information from you. So it says here that this is April 6th. Is this a one week pay statement or is this a uh, one load pay statement or how does this work? One week pay statement. So this is a week, okay. Um, now, I understand that you got paid $376 for that week and you had a total of 1,183 miles you drove. Okay, so that's one pay statement. I just like to, I want to open one more just because I feel like maybe this is not a normal pay statement. Okay, so what am I looking at right now? Is this another pay statement? Because it looks different than the first yes. one. Now, they sent me two pay statements per settlement period. Okay. They send me this version and they send me that other version that you got. Yes. Um, so owner operator pays statement summary. So here is your summary. Now you drove from PA to, uh, from Roseburg PA to uh, Pottsville PA empty. And then from Pottsville PA to Bablane PA loaded miles. So this is the 1,098 miles and then the 85 miles over here, correct? Yes. Okay. Driver's net pay $1,117. Driver deductions. 
Okay, so this is also, this is one week pay statement, right? Yeah. Okay, so you, how many miles did you drive? Because I don't see that here. Uh, unknown. I think, if I remember correctly, these were the miles that I had for that week. Okay, um, so correct me. So why does it say here that you're getting 73 cents per mile? And over here it says you're getting 1.03 per mile. I don't know because I don't, I'm not getting those, those rates per mile. My rate is 50 cents per mile. I'm getting paid. But see, when, we, when I first initiated this lease purchase agreement, I agreed that I would pay a $6,000 security deposit that I didn't have to come up out of my pocket with immediately and that they would take out of my pay, my settlements, my weekly settlements. Now, once my $6,000 was paid, then I would go into what they call full settlement, which is, I guess, the 73 cents and the 107. Uh, all right. All right. Let's see if we understand this. So right now you're getting paid. Okay. For empty miles is 73 cents per mile is what you're getting paid. If it's under 274 miles, if it's over 275 miles, you're getting for every empty mile, you're getting 83 cents. Okay. Right. Now for van rates, you're getting a dollar Oh five. If it's West coast, the yeah, west, uh, west and west. then East, and then you're getting 1.01 right. to 1.03. Now, is there a fuel surcharge on top of this or this is with fuel? It's with fuel. How in the world can you how can how in the world can you agree to these terms? $1.07 per mile. I didn't agree to any of that. What I was told was different than what I got on paper. When I went through orientation, they told me that I would be getting the rate that was paid by the load. Then all of a sudden after I start, took my first load, one of the other drivers told me, you know that you're getting paid, right now you're only getting paid 50 cents a mile until that $6,000 security deposit is, be, is paid up. Then you go up to the compensation package, which is 105 to 107. If you get paid at 1.05 to 1.07, is that after fuel or is that before fuel? Like you still have to pay fuel? Yes. That is before fuel, and then I still have to pay the, the fuel, yes. Wow. Okay, my friend. Um, Let's put it this way, Ronan. I trust you so much that at the end of this, if you tell me pack up and hit the hills, I'm take, I'm sending them their truck back. And, and I want to see a, a week that you did 2,500 miles or 3,000 miles proper. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. That would be Christmas in July because I haven't seen that since I started and I started in March 9th. Okay, so definitely, I mean, I see a problem with mileage, but even their mileage pay, when you're telling me you're getting paid 1.05 per mile, I don't know what the fuel consumption is, but it's anywhere between 60 to, to 80 cents per mile is what it costs for fuel. I mean, if you're getting a dollar oh five, then you're already in a lose lose situation. Go get yourself a job at sixty five cents a mile, and you'll be a lot better off than you are right now. That's right. exactly what you said in your last video. That's and exactly I, what you I, said. I, yes. I stand I stand by it because I mean, there's no way you could be making a dollar oh five and be profitable. I mean, maybe they're just looking for for people to make three four hundred dollars a week, but I don't know how this is and sustainable. The thing is that, Ronan, like I said, I'm only getting paid a dollar seven a month. Knows what that load is paying them. So, oh, yeah, let's for say sure. 1900, uh, 1900 mile load, let's say it's paying them the minimum two dollars a mile. Mm -hmm. I'm only getting paid a dollar seven a mile. Yeah, but but yeah. but but you're not paying for the insurance, you're not paying for the trailer, you're not paying for anything. So, that's a settlement. Like, we here pay our Canadian drivers, we pay a dollar fifty five per mile plus 30 something cents fuel surcharge, they get paid about a dollar eighty, a dollar ninety they don't know what we get paid and they don't need to know because that's their contract. 
and you're getting paid 1.07, which is what is in your settlement. So how long have you been working in this company for? Since March 9th, and again, I don't get, I don't get paid 107, I only get paid 50 cents a month. Got it. Um, so where are you located? You are in where? What state? Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. So there's a lot of good paying, high, jo like high paying jobs in Pennsylvania that you should be entertaining. I have a feeling that you're just wasting your time with this company. Well, there you have it, guys. I mean, you heard it all. What do you guys think about his pay statements? What do you guys think about what he's getting paid? Do you think it's sustainable to run at the rates that he's running? Do you think it's sustainable to make three, four, five hundred dollars a week as a truck driver in the US? I mean, I really don't think it is, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys have something to, to comment on. Put a comment down below. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video. And if you want me to look over your pay statements, Send it over, sponsorships at ettransport.ca.